So what's happening explorers? We finally arrived, got through the jungle of this place and now we're about to explore this mansion here that was once owned by the Darling family. Now, the guy that actually grew up here as a child uh, joined the Royal obviously Navy, become a, um, like a general or something, uh, really high up ranks. Um, and then obviously, yeah, he took over his family home. And we think later on, he may have turned this into like a hotel or something, but this place here is incredible. It's been stood still for almost 20 or, or 21 years, we think. So yeah, so let's get inside and explore this place. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook for all the pictures and other short clips of my explorers and unseen footage. Uh, love you loads guys, let's get on with the video. So ladies and gents, through the front door of this mansion, and what a beautiful place. I'm gonna give you a little tease of the staircase that we're about to explore. This is one incredible mansion. So I'm going to be talking really low at the moment as this is the first time I've even ever gone near this place. We've heard the owner or the person this place is getting left to or whatever's happening is not a, not a friendly guy. So we're just literally just going to scope the area out and then go in. Look at this. So the gate you just see at the start would have been the original front gate to this front garden. So there's like a perimeter of it here. Look at me, I've dragged the old Damo over. <laughs> How's it feel, bro? This is the easy bit. This is the easy bit. And what we're going to do as well, what we are discussing at the moment. So if you've seen the Island Adventures, go and check out. Keep, we'll keep an eye on this video in the links in the next few weeks. So come back, check it out. There's going to be a link to a new channel. Which we're going to be doing some uh, paranormal stuff. I'm so cold about the beer there as well. Damn. Dude, I think you should do it. Shave it. Shave it. <laughs> no, no, can't do that. So, for who don't know, this man is my, is my man, Damo. We go back about 20 years. Yeah, it's probably about 23 years, actually. Uh, yeah, 20, 22. Oh, 22 20, years. 22, yeah. yeah, 22 years I've known this man. It's a little bit of history about me and Dame, really quickly. I started an apprenticeship back in 2001. And uh, yeah, we was all training in the same place. Right, this place. <laughs> I didn't realise it'd be this overgrown to get to it. So yeah, if you find this video, we've gone missing. Something happens. Let's check this place out. So this is named the Darling House. That is totally a bit of me, this place. This is like Ed Gein, this is Chainsaw Massacre crap. This is literally like the movie Chainsaw Massacre. A 
How'd you feel about being here? Kind of second explore. Well, it's, uh, yeah, it's exciting, isn't it? It's, <laughs> it's nerve wracking. Like, I don't really want to go missing. So before we try and get in this place, there's no way around here, so. Um, yeah, as I said, this was a darling task. Basically a captain, lieutenant in the British Army, um, serving during World War II. So a real, some would say war hero, some would say something different, but this guy lived here. Obviously when he passed away, his house, fortunately has became a time capsule. So we've been told it's like over 20 years or so, but hopefully when we get inside, we might be able to work out a little bit more history in this place. Ladies and gents, this is literally like Chainsaw Massacre. I don't know why I just feel that I've got that complete vibe. Look how overgrown this place is. <laughs> we need to get inside. We don't even know how we're going to get in this place, even if it's doable. But it's literally there. So what I want to try and do is stay low. I don't want to try and go too open. Maybe try and get around the front or the back. What is that, mate? Just quickly go to that. That is the old servant's house. Oh, I don't know, is it a servant's house? Or would they have stored stuff here, bro? What is all that? Oh, is this a mausoleum, bro? This is a mausoleum, isn't it? Have a little look quick. It's completely open as well. Look. No, this ain't a mausoleum. Oh, I actually thought this was like some family vault, just the way the front is completely. Tell me you got the same feeling, or am I just being absolute stupid? So this probably may have been like the servant's house, maybe. But why would they have locked him in? Yeah, there's an old bathtub there. All right, let's get round to the main house. Are you ready? Are you ready for the big one, Dave? Oh, Ladies and gents, you can see the collapse just behind me here. The whole ceiling is freaking falling down. But I just want to add, look at those windows. I'm looking at part of the ceiling there, just above me. And you can see furniture literally buried under there. Oh. So this is the remembrance of an old kitchen. You see the old kitchen? Again, as I'm walking around the floor, it's literally going underneath me. Oh, see? <laughs> Do you think this guy has lived here his entire life? Served in the British Army. Now look at his place. It's just falling down. And obviously this is the worst side of the place. Just see bits of the hallway lights hanging up. And the staircase, complete bottom's gone. Oh, guys. Oh, not even joking. That felt terrible. Looking back down the old staircase, bro. Who would have thought, would you thought you'd been exploring the band of buildings, though? <laughs> Careful, John. I won't step over there. This is your wallpaper, bro. Proper like 70s flock. I'll tell you what the views this place would have had. This looks like an old Georgian site. Yeah. Hey guys, there was a ceiling just out there, which would have been the radiator on the outside. 
And he's moaning about his gas bill. It's heating the outside up. Watch that floor here. It's literally all soft. Look. Used to go through this. Yeah. Right. So guys, this is what we got to do to get to the house. <laughs> See this? Prawn's gone. Oh, I would. At least you go down for mattress. I don't, I'm not doing that. You can see here that the whole floor is going down. This whole place is collapsing. There has to be another way we can go in. You see that room Something in there? Go across, you stay on the side that is, is solid near the window. Guys, what we do just to get to another section of this house, just your hand. What's that, poo for you? What we do, eh? I'm going to stop recording. This newspaper here is 1963. I don't know what these codes were, put in the link, let me know. 3930. Australia Post. Is it really? Australia. Post On the box? No, oh my god. Yeah. Oh my god. Ladies and gents. <laughs> Look at the old bed. I know. So who wants to put a date on that, guys? Dude, this bathroom. Look at this. Try and clean, sir. Try and Oh, look at the wallpaper, the way it's come from the ceilings. Dude, this place is incredible. So a true time capsule right in front of us. All these doors. Oh, there's maps everywhere. The whole wall is literally made of a map. This guy's this stained glass window around the edge. You can see all the furniture still down the bottom, which we're going to head down in a minute. Who would have thought that first part of this place we went in would lead us into this beautiful building? I'm not sure we like too much, but that would have been the front part of this building. Uh, sorry, the back. Loving the marble fireplace. These rugs as well. This could have been the last room he spent in. So what we're learning is, obviously she passed away a lot, way longer than he did, before he did. It's just cute that the bear's still in the bed. This dresser, absolutely beautiful. You can imagine the curtains open there, can't you? And him and her at some point sat there with their 
morning tea. Obviously this probably would have been an ensuite maybe. See, I don't know if a lot of these pictures are going to auction or he's bought from auction and kept all the stickers on them. Oh wow, another little bathroom. I have a feeling this place was maybe used at some point as a hotel. Oh, look at this. Hey look, mummy. Oh, I see the whole family at some point have had just as we did at home with all the age markings and stuff. 2002 there. It's not green now. There's a secret room in there. Which makes me wonder if it's a silent alarm. and girls honestly I know I say it every time but again this is one incredible place that I'm getting to explore and again you can see over there the, the flooring's about to dip the mold in this place God, look at this chair guys you can see how long everything's been here as well the dust You can imagine how much heat this would have chopped off. This is literally incredible. Another beautiful place. I don't want to go out there, or oh, someone walked out here already. Oh wow, look at this. There's not another one, look, Captain. There's a load of war metal. Memorabilia. Guys, check this flooring out. What an entrance hall to a place. Again, just shows you how cold it is right near the entrance. There's a fire. So I don't know if this, as I said, used was like a hotel at some point. There's a lot of like fire extinguishers and things around that says that it kind of gives me that impression it was an old hotel that a family run. Yeah, it's probably like solid crystal. I mean, look at the size of that lamp. The size of the ceiling light. So the mould is so bad in this bit. Oh. You can smell it as well, it stinks. Is sex necessary? I don't know, put in the comments below, let me know. The old stereo. 
and all the books and stuff. And even the table here, look, has gone through the floor of this place. And look at the furniture rotting away. It's just sad, isn't it, bro, when you see this? It is. What do you think of it? It's a nice place. Where'd you live here? Uh, yeah, but a bit clean. Should we get it as a project, bro? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Top floor might need demolition. Yeah. And the add-on. Let's look at the other point. Oh, I love these bookends. Especially the old dog. I just feel like the yellow pages, the golden pages. Imagine it all radio playing along here. God, dude, if you didn't see this, you went straight down. What's this? Check out, you see that? A bit of history. So oh, someone commented, in, someone commented in my video, guys, that I was with the Irish potatoes, and I feel like that's absolutely well out of order. So, guys and girls, please respect <gasps> what I explore with. Oh my god! I just don't know why some people have to be really rude. Look at this. Oh, wow. So the untouched parts are just completely stood still. Even his jacket, that's still hanging up. It's all the luggage still in here. Oh wow, look at this kitchen. This is a, it's literally a proper time capsule. So again, as I said, it was the Darling family. And this bloke, as I said, served. And I'm guessing, as I said, he turned his family home into what I would say, maybe a hotel or some kind of The mold in here. God, it's absolutely stinks. We can't even get to that door over there, it's buried. Oh, Julius is so cool. But even the table, look, there's still stuff still on it where the ceiling's fallen. Oh, look at the fish plate. Still Not cans of Guinness there. Oh, the servants, oh, servants bells, the clothes dryer racks above my head. Look at the yeah, mold is bad in this room. Dude, this is a proper time room, Damien. It's not maybe an old arga. Look at the old salt. The old kettle still on there. So there's a water tank under there. It's five years life. <laughs> I think it's a bit expired. There's even wine still in the cupboards. Look at this. Chardonnay. Look at it all. Even one's in a little bag still. Oh, olive oil. So just looking around the other side of the kitchen. And the ceiling above us is probably at any point going to just fall down. Just noticed here as well. Look at the old pencil sharpener. Oh, completely seized up. Let's go in the basement, guys. Anyone in the basement?
This whole place is literally collapsing. So yeah, this would have been like obviously the old paint tree and stuff. Store the cool stuff, cool store. Loving the little staircase and the cellar doors just falling in. Amazing little place. What's behind the stairs? Look. No, oh, wow. All the things well. Choices? They're, they're, I don't know what they are. Oh, how cool is that? I know, they're all engraved. Look, come here, check this out. Look. Oh, look at the little staircase. It's like little Harry Potter's room. out and that's the actual name isn't it darling look at that it's in the navel it looks like a navel out to me oh, it would be because the shipping containers upstairs Dave yeah, nice oh you see it yeah. that is absolutely beautiful Loving it, and there's an old gun. Is that an old gun case? Yeah. Oh, that's engraved as well. Oh, what is that? Don't even know. I don't want to touch it. There's another case here. I don't want to touch it. Oh, what the hell is that? I actually love this place. Just looking here, what is this behind you? Dilute one point with 20 pints. Is that not a pint, is it? Point? Look at the old medicine bottle. This stuff's up for auction, though, that's why it's been bought. Yeah. It's like a really old fashioned tennis racket there. Look at the golf gloves. Oh, this is probably one of my favourite places again, though. <laughs> This is incredible. So we can hear sirens coming, so. I even feel like you've got to get out. But... Where's the secret room? Just down here. Yeah, it's going to be really quick. No, it's not. There's a key, but you need a handle. Oh, look at that. We're missing a big bedroom. There's a big bedroom and it's like a four poster. Is there? I don't know how to get into it. Is it not that one? Oh, this place is incredible. Every room I go into. Oh wow, holy, I just want to swear, I'll get in trouble. <laughs> Guys, look at this freaking room. There's a whole, I think it's like a whole animal or something that's literally like nesting in here. Bro, this room is absolutely insane. like a random bottle of water that just ruins it. It's four poster bed. Do you know I'm staying here tonight? Okay. Damien, can you paint me one like one of the French girls? So if you want to spend the night here guys, hit me up in the links below. 30 quid a night or two nights I'm doing for 50 quid Christmas deal. I'll even chuck Damo in. Is that alright? Just so guys, that's part of the reason why I love exploring is the fact that you can step back and take the footsteps of other people that once walked the halls of these huge, beautiful, stately homes. 
and it is. And then you come to parts like this, they're just literally collapsing. The bed's falling through the floor. The mould, the floors below us are literally falling. So just heading back outside, look at the old, just set the old rope banister. Look how we have to get out of this place. The whole place, as I said, is crashing down. It's just all falling down. Guys, I'm sorry, that probably seemed a little bit of a rush. Um, sometimes the issue is when we're exploring these places, like, it's so dangerous in there, honestly. The flooring everywhere is going, and there's only so much you can do or stand around. And we heard the guy who's taking this over or something is not a pleasant fella. So, yeah, I'm gonna say bye to we're gonna say bye to the darling family house. Keep getting slapped with a stick. But guys, don't forget to check us out on all social medias, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, the lot. Love you loads. Check out my friend Jill. I'll stick her Instagram on the post. And check out my man Domo. See that, boys? And just wanna add here as well, there is a second channel. So keep checking on the description of these videos that you're seeing now for the links to the new channel. So, sat from me, sat from Damo, Firehouse. Love you loads, stay safe.